captain. Alexander is now called Kim Tar. <laughs> <laughs> doing some Star Trek impressions yes. for us when we get started. I'm Michael Dorn. You, you know they're doing a new Picard show. My God. I heard. I heard. Captain, my captain. Shit. Oh. <laughs> I did not know that. Real quick, which ones do you guys like better before we get into this here? Get everything geared up for the for the thing for the podcast? Or I think we both for the episode. Or Picard. T- TNG for life. Yeah. You guys like Star Trek more than Star Wars? No. That's what I was gonna ask. Not more. Right? They're both cool. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I like them both. But the older I'm getting, I'm le- I keep leaning towards Star Trek a little bit more when I think about it now. Which is officially dead now as a reboot. Yeah, I saw that they're not going to do that Quentin Tarantino Star Trek was maybe talking well, about that. They're not going to do a, a... That sounds wild. It's the, they said the reboot... They said the Chris Pine universe, the alternate universe, that's dead. Like, Yeah, I, I saw that where they're they, like... If they revisit it again, it's going to be another reboot. The reboot. fourth one's been shelved, and they're like, it's looking pretty... Like the Chris Pine ones are done. Good, fuck those. They shouldn't have went back to Kurt. I like, the, I like the first Chris Pine one. I didn't bother watching them. I didn't care for Into Darkness, and Beyond was just like the I episode that of the girl. week. Why do you hate that girl? I don't know. I just, I just hate her. I just hate it. <laughs> I just know I'm going to watch it the whole time. I'm going to critique it in my head. as like, what would fucking Picard do if he was here? Oh, it's something better and more logical. Yeah, it's actually a thought-out process whereby you know he takes the evidence at hand, applies his years of skills and experience to extrapolate from that evidence the most logical and best solution for his current problem, then he applies that, and it usually seems to work well because of the well-thought process. Kirk just fucks the first woman he sees that is wearing green and kind of just sachets through until it all works out. Well, God bless James, or Patrick Stewart. I almost said James McAvoy. Sorry, we were talking about Split earlier. That's why I was thinking about James McAvoy. line of thought there, yeah. yeah. We talked about James for half a second, yeah. maybe going to see Glass tonight. I've heard it's uh, so so. Yeah, I have too, and it kind of bums me hearing that. Because I'm hearing that pretty all over. Yeah. Is that going? Oh, we've been recording. We're oh. going to get into it in a minute. <laughs> okay. We're going to finish a Star Trek discuss- uh, discussion that bled off into this uh, um, this uh, Glass discussion. But yeah, even if Picard didn't want to do that, all he's got to do is Commander Data. <laughs> True. Do, 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 what, do, do what he said. Pretty much do it. So, uh, uh, a Deus Ex Machina there in some situations. Yeah. Uh, some of the uh, uh, some the less well written episodes. It's you know the the issue continues. The ship's about to explode. Something terrible is going to happen, and you don't really know how they're going to get out of it. And then literally in the last thirty minutes, Data comes down Deus Ex Machina and just solves it all. I, I will say, like as far as the lore, I mostly know the most about Next Generation. I tried watching SG One. Kind of like when we were in middle school, like early 2000s. I just couldn't get into it. And uh, I've watched like quite a few of the old ones, but I, it's just a little too cheesy for I'd me. I've seen a little bit of some of the newer ones and the older ones when I was younger. Never really watched the Picard one. And then Taylor and my other friend set me down. And, oh, you uh, discovered it at a good age. Yeah, and like later in life and they were like this is TNG this is badass and I was like my god it, it fucking is like for some reason when I was six my mom would let me watch like The Next Generation but that was uh, some of the concepts were a little beyond me at six so yeah. I didn't get to appreciate like you would at like 13 or 14 like I was like yay I had a couple like action figures like I had a data action figure that was kind of cool I had the model size the, the galaxy class like the, the ship from it I think I still got it somewhere um, that's what's up. Oh, and from on a side note, I like the episodes where they detach the top the saucer part. section from yeah. the, the warp drive. <laughs> yeah, I like when they do that. It's, it's like, uh, silly. They're both stupid looking. Yeah, on, on their own. <laughs> on their own, they're dumb. They just look naked and afraid. And um, they actually did that in the uh, uh, the very first. Uh, the, the premiere of the show, uh, the very first episode, uh, Encounter at Far Point Parts 1 and Part 2, which was a hour and half TV special to premiere the TNG show. I know, I've seen it. Jordy LaForge was not the chief engineer. <laughs> God damn it, Jordy. Beverly McFadden was, or Gates McFadden was playing Dr. Beverly Crusher. She'd leave it after the end of season one to be replaced with Catherine Pulaski as the chief medical officer, who would then conversely be replaced yet again 
with Gage McFadden, who came back in season three as Dr. Beverly Crusher, mother of Wesley Our, Crusher. God damn! I hate Wesley. I hate Wesley, and I hate Alexander, and I hate Kim Tyler. You guys... Alexander uh, Rochenko? You mean the son of uh, Worf? Yeah. Yeah. Are you about to have a team? He was in that game I was telling you about, but, he, but he's Kim Tyler. Well, gosh. Didn't well, go by Alexander no more. Well, we nerded out on TNG for a second, guys. Are we hey, ready? I got DS9 <laughs> and BYG up here, too, so. <laughs> well, we have nerded out, I think, for everyone enough, but uh, welcome to the Black Art Cinema Podcast. You could stop right now and watch one of the, uh, the Star Trek movies. Because I've got two up there. <laughs> We've got this queued up. Okay, okay. <laughs> if we ever do that, we'll we'll cut and paste this to, onto the front end of it. Or... But I really do want to watch a sci-fi for one episode. So I'm like a true sci-fi like that. I was thinking about that the other day at work, and I wanted to text you, but I forgot. But um, we are going to get ready to watch something that we've got queued up. Uh, we have this, uh, proud to say, with me as always, Mr. Whitehead. Hello. And joining us again this week is our friend Hudson. Legal counsel. And, and legal counsel. Yeah. I guess it's kind of nice, but he's unofficially become the, like, third host. Like, it's been nice. Yes. It just sort of uh, gravitated into that. You've been with us on the last few, and I've really had a great time. Always happy to be here. It's easy to do. I just have to sit in the chair. And well, I know you're, like... I finally got to meet you, man. <laughs> I mean, we both <laughs> heard about each other. We we were in the same circles. Uh oh. Down and out. Now and I down 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 down. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> well, I need this. proud to say we've pulled something out of the Whitehead vault. I'm also proud to say I own this movie. We have seen this, but I've only seen it twice. And our friend Hudson here has never seen it, but we are watching tonight on DVD Hobo with a Shotgun. Yeah. It's a good one. It is a good one. Um, it's one of my faves. Quick little thing. I cannot remember who directed this, but uh, this came out in 2011. Whoever it is, they did a good job. Great Every, job. Everyone did a good job. But uh, real quick, before we get started into it, you remember this as a trailer like on the Grindhouse movie, right? Mm, no. Do you remember like Death Proof and Planet Terror from Quentin oh, Tarantino and Robert Rodriguez? I've only seen Planet Terror. Oh, well, if you actually watch the... Well, I think I can't remember. It might have been on both DVDs because I watched them separate and together as they were meant to, like back to back. I might. I mean, I probably. But uh, they do like five trailers in front of that were directed by various directors. Like one of them was a Rob Zombie thing with like uh, Nicolas Cage is like fucking Fu Manchu or something. But this was one of the like trailers. They hadn't made the movie yet, but Hobo with a Shotgun was one of the fake trailers, and they, that's why they made this. So it's a fake trailer within a movie within. A- um, yeah, this was a fake trailer from before Death Proof and Grindhouse that Magnet was like, talk Tarantino, like, can we make this into a fucking movie? And he's like, I think we should. Yeah. And they made Hobo with a Shotgun. So we are going to get into it, everyone. Hobo with a Shotgun. I want to shoot. I want to shoot. <laughs> <laughs> like, For, a st- like a stately gentleman trying to retain yes. his honor and not sully his... <laughs> Garments. Don't want to get my evening coat dirty. Obviously, this is not a viewing uh, podcast because that would defeat the purpose. But uh, for those who can't see, Mr. Whitehead has a classic revolver that was my grandfather's that uh, is unloaded, but he wanted to this is a look man, at it. This is a man. He appreciates who, the craftsmanship of the who weapon. He knows nor appreciates. None of the uh, rules of gun safety. <laughs> it's unloaded. It's unloaded. It <laughs> is. I only play with unloaded guns. I don't even own bullets to but the thing. boy, does he play that, with them. That is true. I own no bullets to this uh, this thing. But uh, I have shot it before, it's like, one time. time it's, but it's, it's something my grandfather would just take to look at and put away. But uh, I'm putting I, it in a I, safe I, place this weekend. I and think his style... It's transporting with me. His style, stance, and approach to the <laughs> firearm... Should really become police standard. <laughs> like I think he should be teaching this in police academies across the country. He's mod. He's it, it. Really makes such a such tactical sense. He's and, um, 
You know, just, you just he's admiring the barrel. He's admiring the, admiring the barrel of. Get shot with a nine. <laughs> he's admiring the barrel of this weapon like a glass of Chardonnay wine, yeah, like a pro, yeah. or like a fine penis. Tell me. Or like he's buying diamonds right now in Tel Aviv or something. At the market, I would have one of these on me if I was. It's, mm. Coked out of my mind. <laughs> and then you go speak to your connection and Mossad and, you know, arrange for that clandestine airlift <laughs> yeah. of smuggled diamonds and pistols. I would wanted to actually, uh, oh man, what was that? Oh, man. Uh, it's a Cheech and Chong movie. <laughs> where the, where the, right turn. Where the sheriff has a gun, but it's a vaporizer. You guys remember that? No. Oh, I want that. I don't. It, lo- it it's a. It looks like a. I think I like a laser gun or something. I think I've it's only really seen neat. like one of the Cheech and Chongs. I forget which one it is. It's a good. But I mean, I don't, I'm not saying they're bad, but let us get to this movie. Enough of our ramblings. We didn't get we didn't even get all the good Star Trek stuff. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway. You're just going to leave halfway through the movie and be like, I- I'm just going to go watch. <laughs> I'm going to go watch Generations. I'm going to watch you go into war. Uh, <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I want to see you trans warp, actually, out of that chair. The trans warp theory was disproved. Uh, it's in that game, though. Uh, the USS Excelsior, which was the test bed for the trans warp project for Starfleet, was ultimately abandoned uh, later. Based on the propulsion theories of one Montgomery Scott. I don't know who that is. Scotty. Oh. The original series. Uh, there's a boy. Our hobo with the shotgun. This actually doesn't have good music. Yeah. It's got good in So are, are we dealing with, uh, you know, I, I'm the only one here who hasn't seen this. Like, you never even seen so a trailer to this? I've only ever heard it it's because of the I've heard y'all thing? talk about it before. Oh, okay. But no, um, I don't think I've seen a trailer for it. Um, I don't think I've seen it. Like, the only thing you would and, have really been aware of is the Grindhouse fake trailer. Yeah. Okay. And I've actually seen those. I don't, I don't, I just don't remember that. I, I know what you're talking about, the part you're talking about. I mean, uh, I only saw the Grindhouses right when they came out, yeah. and I kind of remember them pretty well. Am I going to see anyone I know? Or have ever seen? Uh, there's a few people that I've seen in other stuff in this. I mean, this is Rutger Hauer, obviously. I saw, yeah, I, I actually, I thought of that question, and then we started talking, and I saw the Rutger Hauer, I thought, well, at least I know who that is. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, like... But but we could safely say we're at the Rutger Hauer level of people I'm gonna. Yeah, like <laughs> Rutger Hauer is is you know built for. There's like people I recognized in it, but maybe not as much as like I guess, other stuff I guess I've seen on his caliber of like movie. He was first built, so welcome to Scott. Yeah. It's beautiful blue ocean. and then fire. Okay, wrong. Some of the violence and dialogue in this, Jesus. Just imagine if you lived in a neighborhood that was really this rough. I wouldn't want to. You would? No, I wouldn't. Wouldn't want to. Yeah, I wouldn't either. Where if, bum fights are happening all the time. I, if I did, I'd be that guy. Hey, fuck you, man. Never make money without me. Has anyone here actually ever seen any bum fights in the videos? It's sad. It is. No, I can't say I have. Like, I've seen some that are, like, silly. But Mostly I've sad. Seen, I've seen some that are really You recognize him, right, Anton? Oh, the trailer park boys. Yeah. I think this was primarily a, 
a good chunk of this is a Canadian production. What the hell? You gotta help me here. If you don't help me, my hand is coming off my fucking body. Please, just don't tell me that. Just want smell that cigarette. Get that fucking truck. There it goes. My cans. Actually, if I lived in the city, that was a shitty. I'm not gonna have to be that man. Oh, brother mine. You're a poet, and you didn't even I get know you it. Now. <laughs> You weren't planning on leaving town without saying goodbye, were ya? Yeah. We've been yeah. all over for Is that some sort of Corvette rest on bottom going? On your own yeah, but that one guy days. is, uh... This cocksucker gave me the shittiest Christmas presents. That's her uncle. <laughs> That's the kid from Small Soldiers. <laughs> With the longer hair. <laughs> That's weird. You're our lucky contestant. <laughs> Show them how to play, boys. Slick! You're always my favorite nephew, I swear to God, Nina! Get your feet in that fucking devil! Fuck! Ah! Ah! <laughs> Adam, my boy. I want everybody here oh, to Ivan. see this. This Dave Franco, <laughs> Tom Cruise looking motherfucker. <laughs> is going to be filled with thrills and chills and my own personal favorite lots and lots of that red shit that flowed inside all our bodies <laughs> Ivan cheer you fucker <laughs> ah! a tyrant I mean, you watch it I'm doing things they're going to fucking kill me here somebody say something don't just stand there ah! you know Ever since our mother brought Logan home from the hospital, I knew he was a fucking coward. Don't leave town. You'll never fucking see me again. Just please, I can't feel my legs, Drake. He wants mercy from the Drake. From the Drake! And he should know better than anybody. Mercy ain't my style. What do you want from me? you a slick piece of shit. He's no longer my baby. Our relationship has been severed. And now... He's all alone in the world. With nothing. This would but suck. A wire loose around his neck. <laughs> you can't let him do this. It's not just my life he's ruining. Please, help me. Please. Yeah, you should have started begging a long time ago, Logan. You know, I have never enjoyed listening to you as much as Jay Franco, Tom right Cruise, I swear to God. You're a fucking animal drink. You're a shitty, fucking weird little animal. The way I see it. Like, I've never seen this guy in anything, but he does a good job. Because I, I thought. I remember the trick. I've never forgotten him. Yeah, like, I've never forgotten him. <laughs> I take back all my previous statements. I think I'd do this shit. <laughs> if I live it. Just make this the streets rain blood. Yeah, you yeah. stick around on these days. This, she's gonna be so safe. Oh, you would be the girl? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I thought that was, I mean. I thought you meant you'd be doing shit like this like Drake's doing if you were in a city well, like this. I, <laughs> okay. I forgot that Don't forget to wash your dicks. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like the director was just like, just say whatever you think sounds fucking wild. Yeah. It, we'll do that like 40 times yeah. over and we'll make a movie. Yeah. Here, drink this, drink this whole uh, fifth of snobs. And, yeah. uh, and just start this, talking to the camera. And we're going to we're gonna do <laughs> yeah. it one take. There's not going to be any cuts on the edit room floor on this one. It's Hell just going to no be boys. like... <laughs> That's how I like to think this movie was made. Just all in one. Everything's one take. 
this Chinese restaurant buffet music. Do 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 do. We haven't got Chinese food in a while, brother. I had the other day. No, I mean like together. We haven't gone to any Chinese in a fat minute. Very true. Yeah, actually, I was going to ask you if you would have been down to maybe do Japanese tonight at one point, or I thought about it. Did you eat the Japanese place we have here in town yet? I never have, no. Hey, oh, I, it's good. I like Mis- it. Uh, Mis- Miso. Miso's good. I've never eaten it. Fletcher and I tried to go to the very new... The new, the new Italian the joint in town. Italian joint. Still 45-minute wait time, and we were both pretty hungry. For so we were like, let's go, to, let's go to eat at Tom's. Yeah. You got spicy sirloin? Potato skin. Saw, wow. Well, we saw someone, we that, saw you someone know, that you know who's been working there for a while that lived next to a friend of ours back in the day. <laughs> that was complicated. You remember what I'm talking about now? Oh, yeah. You know. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I know. We were walking out to pay the bill. We both just saw her and we're like... We looked at each other like, oh no. Yeah. Trying to get that lawnmower to mow them lawns. Have you ever known anyone that was homeless? For like, legit homeless for a minute in their life? Yeah. Off the top of my head, no. I worked... She was a very chill person, but I worked with a girl who was like, yeah, I was homeless for like two months once. It sucked. She's like, I'm just not homeless like anything was wrong, like addiction or anything like that. Well, She was just like, I literally had no residency for two months and nowhere to go, but like hop yeah. around friends, go sleep in like a Walmart parking lot in my car. That was what I was going to ask you. Is how, is like you that, how, how do you find homelessness? Is it you're sleeping on the street every night? Well, like, I mean, literally. the legal term, like she had no okay. residency okay. to speak of. On I paper. guess you can... Uh, and she's like, it sucked. Like another person we all know, she's like, it would have sucked if I had to sleep on the streets. But yeah. she's like, it was still kind of shitty. She's like, I don't consider it homeless, but legally I was homeless. Is how she described it. Oddly enough, uh, you know what I found, babe? What's that? It's an odd, such an odd thing in a parking lot. I found 5,140 some odd pennies on the ground. One bullet. What? I shit you not. You found 5,000 pennies? I found $51.30 worth of pennies in a Oh, I thought you meant like. I mean, has. Well, okay, here's a question. Well, How did you what know? Your method of yeah, planning? that's my question. I took your coin star. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's the way to do it. Yeah. Okay. Because uh, I. What was your method of transportation? Because that's a lot. Of, that's uh, an empty box. Okay. You, you, you weren't because uh, I I've tried to call the shit in uh, coin star before and did not bring the right receptacle and you know lost it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I've used Coinstar a couple times. Yeah, but really, like... <laughs> One who, bullet. Who finds... What kind of bullet was it? Where, where was this? Without naming a business or anything. Uh, where did you find... Was it your work in that yeah. lot? Yeah. Oh, like... Like, in the count room he found that? He's in the parking lot, the parking lot. Oh, the parking lot, I'm the sorry. Parking lot. That makes me even, like, more... Yeah, like, it was so weird, like... It literally looked like someone had opened like a passenger or side door or something and dumped out all these pennies in with in like the parking lot. Hey, you know, oh, that's you weird. might you might have like it, that spot. might have been some sort of sacrosanct uh, offering to a de- demonic Babylonian goat go- god. Jesus Christ! That, oh my god! Like, like you are not supposed to mess you with fucking it. Fucking hereditary. That yourself. was um, you fucking hereditary. <laughs> that could have been a sacrifice, my friend. Remember they all was marked up. Think I'm gonna let it slide. Fifty one thousand and something in a one single bullet. One single bullet. That was a blood offering and you 
stole it from its chosen deity. God damn it. But no, yeah, I found that today. So weird. Good day then, I guess. Speaking of a change, my dryer broke at my place. I've been having to go to the laundromat. Sucks. Does everybody want to know how to never feel pain again? But it's got free Wi-Fi at least. I would put this movie on the movie, on the level with the movie Mandy. For me personally. It's shot well enough. You know how I can tell I'm making you wet? There are there is one similarity. No. Because you're making my dick thirsty. <laughs> that wine. I forgot about that. What are you supposed to be? Some kind of badass murderer or something? Why? Does that frighten you? You got money to spend? Nothing frightens me. Baby, I got all kinds of money with your name written all over it. Well, what are you waiting for? Let's go. Awesome. For real. Hobo was stalking him. Nobody messes with you, do they? Not if they give a fuck about living. So how many people have you killed? One of them. A mathematician. You fuck right. Are you gonna fuck or what? Some of this dialogue doesn't make sense, but a lot of it makes a lot of sense. Mother Teresa is a goddamn saint. <laughs> oh, that would hurt so bad. Serves you right. What did you think? He was going to put a ring on your finger. You stupid motherfucker. He's looking there so bad. Glad we think I, I definitely whacked that cane. No, this is like some Generation X propaganda about <laughs> how millennials are idiots. Or <laughs> yeah, it could be. Why the sodomites get me the goddamn chief of police? <laughs> the most staunch hobo ever. Yeah, to walk up into fucking town on the train. Just yarn around your shit, right? Yeah, your shit's all fucked. Good day, sir. No, no, please, take a seat. I don't think I've seen you around here before. Let me guess. You rode in on the rail. That's right. Now let me speak to the goddamn burster of this facility. Well, I understand you've been having a little bit of difficulty with one of our young men. You're going to need a lot of dumb trucks. Dump trucks? I, I don't follow you. You get out there, get all the criminals, put them in dump trucks, take them to a landfill site, and bury them. Put them in the ground. I'm not too sure. I know what you're trying to say here, sir. What I'm trying to say is that people don't go bad like they do here. Yeah. Yeah. But if I'm being honest... Fucking hobo I is... can't argue with anything you say. Crime in this city is Travis becoming an embarrassment. 
I've been suspecting that some of my boys are working with Drake. Can't see things getting this much out of hand unless some of my officers are giving that maniac a free reign. So thank God for honest people like yourself. You better get those officers and send them packing. You can start this whole operation all over again. Between you and me, I'd love to bring the wrecking ball down on Drake. He might as well be king around here. King's fall. You ought to read a history book, Jake. So I gave you this little brass to put him away for life. Well, we're certainly going to see what we can do about that. By the way, did anybody officially welcome you to town yet? They never do. <sighs> well... Welcome to Fucktown! <laughs> <laughs> Fucktown. <laughs> Welcome to Fucktown. You guys want to go to Fucktown? I do not want to visit Fucktown. Not fuck this Fucktown. This is... Actually, we were talking earlier. What should you do with those fuck? It'd be fun yeah. to take a trip sometime, but not to Fucktown. You don't want to go to Fucktown? Do not want to go to Fucktown. I'm going to carve a billboard into his chest. Get that knife away from me. I think you might be hurting him. Jesus, God, boys, whatever happened to delicacy and cement? This is so you'll never forget what you are. How do you spell vagrant? A grunt? A grip day? Loiterer? Like you. <laughs> he needs to get hydrated. Bled out a lot. Dude, or, yeah. I would suggest orange juice. Fuck that. More vodka. Actually, you could use the vodka to clean the wounds. Hey. You're so hot. You make me want to cut my dick off and rub it all over your tubes. <laughs> Red flag. Tell me what you're looking for. I was hoping to keep it a surprise. Had enough surprises tonight. Quit wasting my time. What's it gonna be? Come on, Abby. Hey, look. I'm the one with the money, and you're the one selling your hole. Ah, which hole? I know that, sweetie. Yeah. I'd love to take your money. Oh. Fuck. Just give me the regular, plus 10%. Okay. I'm gonna make you love the taste of my rock. <laughs> oh, shit. I don't really want to do it that bad, damn. Oh, my God. Oh, that looks like that would be so fucking painful. God, it looked pretty deep, too. The moving really hurt. Oh. God, imagine kind of like... Have you ever seen someone, like, really get cut bad? Oh, like, oh, in an accident of any kind, like a dust wheel? Or... Here's a drink right now. Oh, it looks bad. I've seen some bad shit. I'm like, oh. Do you mind? Not like... In person, but on the really internet. I really appreciate you helping yeah. me out today. If it wasn't for you, <laughs> Although my neighbor cut his hand open really bad on a... I see the, yeah, where's like in a print shop? Friend. He cut his hand really bad, like right here where he had some stitches. Mm. And they're like, oh, if it would have been like right there, like, you would have need to get to us in 45 minutes. For real. Damn. I was like, oh shit. Anything worth remembering. Well, do you know the name of the? Of I the, did BJ. Yeah. Some BJ Scotch. Uh, you know, just keeping the label and the color. You seem like a smart and intelligent yeah. person. Yeah. Switch those letters back and forth. You should be teaching. You know, tell people about beautiful things and miracles. You're obviously no. not from here. But just those two things. Yeah. Nothing else. Yeah. Well, be beautiful and I fuck for a living. <laughs> And believe me, it's a 
I don't have a lot of other options. I absolutely adore and love the heavy handed dialogue in this. Oh yeah, like it's no, 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 no. Like I mean, I know I, 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 it's intentional on a certain level. Yeah, no, that's making, how I've always fun, making fun of like really poorly written stuff, dialogue and stuff. And this it's is almost self actualized, like self aware yeah. kind in the writing, but it works. I think it goes. He's like a brother to me now, and brothers fight sometimes. Well. I think it's time to put you and your brother to bed. No, I am not going to stay here. I'm going to go outside. No, no, it's okay. I want you to. It's a good one. I'm not even jerk you off, old man. <laughs> it's just what I know. I can't keep up much of a conversation. Yeah. Sorry, I wasn't listening. Sorry, yeah, I got ten minutes. I'm talking about the weather, and then I just, I got to start jerking you off, because got to fill the void somehow. Here. Put this on so you don't get blood in my sheets. Oh. Clean sweater. Tonight, I'll tell you something about theirs. I like smelling laundry though when it's fresh. The Use that arm and hammer to wash. They like their space. Chris Citrusson. They live in a magic circle. They unbind if you're like a mile away. You on that tide over there, Hudson? Inside the game. Oh, you're a game guy. Game. Who let you over there when you were doing that if long, Greg? You can't. Have you ever, Give have us you ever like corporate sponsorship? <laughs> Thanks. I'm just saying, I like the Arm and Hammer liquid stuff with like the uh, baking soda in it. It smells pretty good. I like taking the Tide. I used to love Tide. I used to be into Tide. Just eating those Tide Pods. Okay, uh, toothpaste. Uh, actually, uh, Arm and Hammer Peroxide for this kid. That is a good brand loyalty. A little bit with, uh, I really enjoy that toothpaste and I really enjoy uh, that shit to clean my clothes with. I just bounce around. Oh, don't get me wrong. I, like, I used to like some extra back in the day. You know, X, uh, XTRA. I like that cheaper stuff. That's why you should never hug there. I'm not gonna lie, the arm and hammer's cheaper, that's why I get it. <laughs> get the fuck outside. <laughs> I'm not good enough to be in the game detergent club, y'all! Hell no. <laughs> Fucking it's two, two versus one on on uh on game. I'm about to go break a glass. <laughs> you did. God. Is that what you guys want to see and hear? Me eating a bunch of glass because I don't use the game detergent. Dude, just scream loud enough and we'll hear you. And I'll go do it. I'll make this happen, y'all. Will it to happen, audience? <laughs> Please. Kind of jealous of Rucker Howard's tan. He's he's very tan for a hobo. Yeah. A kid getting a child getting kidnapped in broad daylight. Did obviously. Who, did you see who was driving that car? A Santa Claus. It's a Santa Claus pedophile. <laughs> Pedophiles are running wild in this town. That's how bad it is. Very accurate. And they can dress in bright red and not get caught. Going about their business. Beautiful. I love your work. For about ten dollars, eh? Good bag. Piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Beautiful. I'm only giving you twenty for that one, buddy. Ah. Get down on your knees. Go up. On you go. I 
want you to start chewing the glass. What? I want you to start eating the uh, glass. Uh, Go on. Don't even bother looking at this. Can you imagine, Stop like, in a, being in a position where you might Go really on. have to do this? Because he's needing money. Hard. Dude, hell no. That's it. Ugh. <laughs> I'll jerk off in front of somebody. <laughs> I do this shit for How many somebodies? <laughs> as many as it fucking takes to keep me from doing this. Pick it up. With your mouth. With your mouth. That's it. Your... Ooh. That sounded like it was coming from you for a second. <laughs> no, that was not me. That was the movie. Yeah. What does he do with those tapes? Bump yeah, fights. I, what is, what is, I guess. Uh, bump fight. That was not a... F that, that's a few levels beyond bump fights. Like they mean. might have been doing bump fights before that with that but, pass out dude. I thought there was like a bump fight where they actually made someone like eat a bunch of old cigarette butts or something. I know that... <sighs> I know, I mean, I that know. stuff happened um, to a certain... Uh, fraternal organization while I was at Knoxville and they got that they're having bum fights in the basement. Oh god Dang. I don't think like this, no, but But still that's kinda wild. And then after they got a I, I believe if I, I could be remembering this incorrectly, so um I did not go to college where you went. Uh, a few years after that, um they got reinstated and then almost immediately got kicked out again uh, because they moved away from bum fights to actual cock fights. Yeah, you're hurting me right. God now. damn, oh, sir. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude. I was a GDI in college, listeners, so don't uh, don't give a shit about crazy bro. Yeah. When I grow up, I want to be the the guy that owns the store. What's a GDI? Goddamn independent. Oh, goddamn independent. I'm sorry. I was like, I almost asked you, is that a professional fraternity or something? <laughs> Doing a little pawn shop shopping. Gonna buy my $50 mower. Mow those pawns. This is a goddamn fucking robbery! Oh, fuck. You can't enjoy shit in your life. This town sucks balls. <laughs> okay, let's see. This guy, this guy, he is a great babysitter. <laughs> Don't worry about Junior. Oh, look at it, dude. Pointing a revolver at a baby in this movie. Slit her goddamn throat. Okay, okay. Yeah, this guy's scary. Oh, the, the, the counter man? Oh, yeah, no, that, yeah. I want to be that kind of old guy. I want to be like, just fucking. Trying to run a business. Yeah. Hey, guns! 
Get the change. <laughs> He got the infinite amount of shells, but damn. Hey, we ain't gonna question it. I also don't know where he got the uh, 18 inch versus the look like a 26 inch barrel. Take it out! Now you put it in your mouth and eat it! This hobo gets straight to fucking work. <laughs> Stop wasting your time doing homework. Get up on the block and make me some money. Come on, baby. So, Daddy, you ain't mad at me. Give me a kiss. Listen. Go home to someone who loves you. Now. And you. You're Great tactic. Imagine just running into a place you're about to assault with a shotgun in your mouth. <laughs> you would totally throw everyone Dude, off. Dude, hell yeah. Would that be, would it that was be, some smart would, shit. Would that be part would of your police uh, police training program? Big present. Oh. <laughs> Jerk on this, you child of this thing, shit liquor. Spit on his ass, dude. Like, this hobo is giving Judge Dredd a run for his money. Still newspapers. One punishment across the board. Is this brave, it's still unidentified homeless man who's been doing homeless man would just like one blow his head off. Blow the newsman away. A shotgun? This town is impressed by a homeless man with a fucking shotgun? Who's the creative in that? So what happened to you? School bully gets your lunch money? I don't want to talk about it. Look slick, don't make me mad. Tell me who did this to you. I don't know. Some bum. Some, some bum. Have you been watching the fucking news lately? Huh? No, you Boy, shot yeah. the TV. Cover that fucker. We packed him up. Somebody does this to your brother, and you treat him like a jack-o'-lantern. Put your head on the table. Hey, Tom, now. Don't worry, son. Everybody gets knocked out once in a while. Have you ever been knocked out? Fuck no, I'm the trick. Who's gonna fuck with me? <laughs> I'm slick. No one's supposed to fuck with me either. Listen, you've got a lot of potential, way more than your brother. Head down. Maybe even more potential than me, eventually. But first, you've got to learn to think bigger. Bigger. I'll crucify him to all the shelter. That's revenge. Don't look for revenge. Look for people's fear. Okay, here. I'll cut a hole in his body and I'll make them watch as I spread his intestines out all over the street. Where you be ugly, you be hateful. When you do that, some will fear you. Slick. I want to fear you, but I don't. You've got to show me that you can scare the shit out of everybody. So why don't you unlock that imagination of yours? You remember when your dad had this talk with you guys? So yeah. Yeah. <laughs> everybody uh, in this town 
Tail end of puberty. I'm not going to lie. Field. What should I do? I've met some guys. Do you, do you know the last supper they've got behind them? Oh, I did. And the, the, the additional dead bodies. They just, just chilling out. They're just chilling with. One sweet morsel of advice. When life gives you razor blades, you make a baseball bat. Cover your razor blades. That yeah, looks like that would fuck people up so hard. Not to that degree, but that would still suck to get hit with. See, they're the safest in this movie. That is true. No, true. true. no one's fucking them up. They're be an attractive woman. I mean, it's a good can, yeah, quality gonna, to have in anything, I guess. You're probably gonna have to do some fucked up shit. True. But. They, Oh my god, I forgot about You're this. You're not scene. on the priority to get fucked up. This shit. But it doesn't make you invincible. Do you guys like school? Hey, I asked you a question. Do you kids like school? Yeah! What about ice cream? Do you kids like ice cream? Yeah! <laughs> and bicycles? <laughs> and hobos! I hate hobos. <laughs> You're the bus for those children. He's like, hell yeah, this is badass. Just burning school up, school bus full of children now. Jesus. Yeah. School bus was found burning. There were an undisclosed number of children on board, and there were no survivors. Again, we regret to inform you that only the charred bodies of many, the many most children remain. This fucking newscast. Kids out there, how you doing? Good? Great. Guess what? I've got something very. Very special to share with you today. Uh, yeah. Are you ready? Yeah, yeah, come up to the screen, kids. Let go of your mom and dad's hands. Come on, come on. Okay. Get as close to the TV as you can. Why is everyone doing this? Do you see this? Ah! This is what you get if you want to follow a beggar instead of a drink. Now! It's time to play the game. It's called Gutter Tag. Very, very easy. Every single one of you gets to play. All you homeless people, you're it. Everyone else, you get to kill them. Oh, otherwise, we're gonna kill the rest of your children. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, one more thing before you continue on with your busy day. I want Dad Hobo's head on my wall, and whoever brings it to me gets all my rod. <laughs> oh, you gonna like them? <laughs> Imagine me like I gotta go kill a fucking hobo now. Oh man, I don't know. It's because the town I lived in is just that fucking gone and lawless. Grab your guns, boys! Grab your guns! See, yeah, we're, we're getting them whores tonight, boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he wouldn't even give him money. He's like, I'll just give pretty women. Free, free Ron. That was <laughs> <one. laughs> <laughs> I forgot. That's the second best line of this movie. <laughs> the second best line. Grab your guns, boys. Grab your fucking guns. We got homeless to kill, so let's go make some dead bodies. At least he's doing the shooting the dirty cops. Oh, dirty cops! <laughs> Shotguns. Shotguns. And sock pennies. Turn in the sock. 
Oh, it sucks to be homeless right now in this town. He tries to hide in, his, in the refrigerator box. Oh, God. Syrup and yellow red food dye. Some more B B J B and J liquor. Yeah. Dude. Yeah. Oh, oh my. Understand needing to make money as a prostitute, but uh, I don't think I'd be walking out this night. No, no. Yeah. You ever sleep with a prostitute, kid? Hey, guys, a cop. She's so hot. I need the peanuts out of her shit. <laughs> <laughs> the dial. <laughs> what is wrong with you? This conversation is disgusting. Yeah, well. You can't beat your wife like you can beat a whore. So that's what I love about him. Tell you what, who we'll goes splits on this one? You're joking, right? Get back to the fucking station. Get the fuck out of here. She's going to murder this woman. Imagine the goddamn fear you would feel if you saw a policeman just chasing a prostitute to murder on a whim like that. I don't think I'd want to be a cop in this town. I don't want to be anything in this town. I am going to break your legs off. Get it, your sweetness. <laughs> well, that's not even a fucking option. Now I'll tell you what. <laughs> oh my god. Forgive me. And I'll make sure that you can still crawl home. <laughs> oh, come on. I know you want it. You little fucking whore. I'm a cop. Don't do anything fucking stupid. Shut up! Look at her. What do you see? I don't know, man. She's... She's just a fuck tube. A fuck tube? She is a teacher! Oh, wow. She despises you. And so do I... Just. Let me walk you home. <laughs> Just try and play that off. Why are you doing that? Shit. Dad, what are you doing? You can't kill them. I'm cleaning the streets. And the shit. And the smell makes me sick. Remember that movie Afterlife with Liam where he kept talking about like people pissing and shitting? Where he's a mortician? No. no. Oh my god, Justin Long and like Christina Ricci? What's it called? Like Afterlife, where he's a mortician and she wakes up on a slab. Like she's a body and he's like, yeah, I can talk to dead people. No. It's a, it's a movie. Oh yeah, it's, this is a real movie. I might be uh, remembering the title wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's called Afterlife. I need my allowance early this week. I, 
I just do. Okay, come on. Come on. And it's gonna hit on the bird. From the carcass. Uh, you're pretty sick, you know that. Don't smile. sleep in my bed. Tell me where you went. I just wanted to buy a lawn mower. Wait. You wanted to buy a lawn mower? Yeah. All those years living in boxcars along the streets, I thought I might start up my own business. That's what we'll do. I got my own slogan. You grow it. I cut it. You grow it, we cut it. We'll get out of this town, we'll go somewhere where they have nice big lawns to mow. This isn't the only place grass grows. Are you serious? Yeah. But first I gotta wash this guy's ass all on my face. <laughs> the dialogue. Also, too, just imagine, like, that's my dream. Oh, dude, mine too. Totally. Like, being at that low to point in your life, you're like, I'm, that sounds like some paradise. That fucking beat. You're pissing me off. Jesus Christ. I haven't even ruined the fucking skates. I have ruined everything. Let's fuck. Macaroni beans. I don't know. What would you take? Why are you in such a rush? You just shot a fucking cop. Everybody wants to kill you. Oh, all right. All right. We need a blanket. It's going to get cold at night and uh, some magic. I don't have much money. All right. Don't worry about the money. We'll hop on the train, we'll get a job somewhere, and we'll start saving up. No, 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 TV. We gotta turn a light. Right. Fuck TV. Just take what you need. Okay. I think I'm ready. All I need is this picture. Okay. I love my... <laughs> 
Insta hell from dying. Yeah. <clears throat> he didn't die from that gunshot. He died by ghosts. Yeah. Fix this. That fucking yeah. evil. Still would suck though to die by getting your dick shot off. No! It's one of my three memorable getting shot in the dick scenes in the film. This, Pulp Fiction, and 21 Jump Street. Shot. Bob Riggle gets his dick shot off in that. At the very end, yeah. But it's played for comedy. But the dick is really there on the street, and he like, pick my dick up! And no one's like, oh, I'm not picking up your dick. He's like handcuffed, and like, he starts putting it in his mouth. <laughs> now, this is where I've heard people theorize. This is the Mandy tie. Yeah, that this that these are the same dudes in Mandy. Oh. Uh, I've heard that theory was spouted before. Maybe actually. not the same dudes, but black skulls. Yeah. Stay with us, honey. Come on, stay with us. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be alright. <laughs> Oh, uh, while we were all talking about Mandy, just then I mentioned it. And maybe I thought I did read that this could be a tie into Mandy and Fred. Or like Mandy, he was kind of like doing homage to these guys. Because he likes, he's a fan of his film. But uh, me and Hudson were talking about dinner tonight. Uh, Nicholas Cage is reteaming with the people that made Mandy for an H.P. Lovecraft uh, movie. What's the name? Uh, Call of, uh, not Call of, uh, I can't remember. You'll have to look it up. Something like Space One or something, maybe? Yeah. I think I maybe read that. Yeah, Nick, I don't know if Nick Cage, Cage, the producers and director from Mandy, Mandy and H.P. Lovecraft Story. I think I can finally die, y'all. Are they going to make the perfect Lovecraft movie? Pro you, you've always said that, and I've heard that, like, said too. Like, there's just never technically been a perfect Lovecraft movie yet. There's, good, there's a lot of good there's ones. There's some good ones, but one that's going to be. Holy true, like bring the pages to life kind of thing. Welcome back. It's good to see you. Shout out to Dagon. I like Dagon. Dagon's close. I wanted to give you this. Reanimator's close. The sequels can't happen, but they're still good. They're beautiful. Yes, they are. 
just to make sure you don't forget me. Where are you going? I have to go back to work. Please don't. You know that job I have of cleaning shit up that doesn't pay anything? And this town was Travis Bickle. For real. Except I'm really doing shit. Travis Bickle just cleared out one whorehouse. One. I'm cleaning up a whole fucking city. You do. You know what we should go back and watch? With Rutger Howard? Yeah. Nighthawks. I don't know if I ever saw Nighthawks. Was it Sylvester Stallone? And uh, Billy D. Williams? That's the movie that uh, that rap album you like talk, is talking about. Nighthawks. Who was that? Cage. Was it Cage? Cage. Yeah, I thought Cage and Can We Tell. Weren't you listening to some MF Doom for a while? I remember a period where you really listened to a lot of MF Doom, maybe? MF Doom is good. Uh... Suspicious that I feel like when they are in scenes, the same, like, it reminds me of Mandy. You now that I've seen Mandy, obviously, like, going back, like, yeah. Like, why does it look on Mandy? And coincidentally, I don't know if you noticed, the arcade machine that kid, uh, where the kid got his arm broke, either that arcade machine or the one behind them is, is their video game. Oh, yeah, these, these bikers have a video game in this movie. That's right, I forgot about that shit. So it's known. They're, they're a known entity. Part's good too. A long time ago, I was one of you. <laughs> Just imagine giving a speech to babies. Oh, right now is perfect. No mistakes, no regret. People look at you and think of how wonderful your future will be. They want you to be something special, like a doctor or a lawyer. I hate to tell you this, but if you grow up here, you're more likely to wind up selling your bodies on the streets or shooting dope from dirty needles in a bus stop. If you're successful, you'll make money selling junk to crackheads. You won't think twice about killing someone's wife. Because you won't even know what was wrong in the first place. Bumming these babies out. Maybe. Maybe not like me. While we're on this baby scene, you know what me and Hudson were talking about earlier? Chow and fat and hard with that baby. The Gucci Goo. That nursery rhyme. That was what a elaborate way to fucking murder something. Yeah. It's like up down Y move pretty much. Yeah. That shit. Nothing 
but efficient. Imagine this is how you leave your trail of destruction. It'd be a fucking scare. I think they went that way. Why weren't they also strapped? Yeah, the one doc doctor came with the strap to work. The doctor said, I'm tired of this fucking shit. I'd still be like, I still need to get out of town, probably. That was her. If I was her, I'd be worried about ripping that fucking neck wound open. I would not be running around. Yeah. Still don't know what was up with this. You got a match. Finally got to smoke a cigarette. Yeah. They've killed God. Or Jesus, I guess. Ah, oh, the plague. You guys fucking rock. Do you want to see him? No, I trust you guys. I can fucking smell him from here. Take him to the truck. You know, I almost feel sad for you. You're in the shadow of your brother. And you're just a little tiny duck. A duck! Listen, you homeless piece of shit! I'm the only son Drake has left! And you know what that means? That means I run the fucking show! I'm gonna show everybody they're gonna fear the fuck out of me! In fact, they're gonna make comic books out of my hate crimes! I can promise you, when I get out of here, I'm gonna bite your face off. That's funny. Cause I promised myself I would bash your fucking teeth in and make a chainsaw out of them. Fucker. Just rolling around with that burn ass up hand. Yeah. Not even worried about that chin. That chin burn either.
Gotta do some shotgun mods. of one of the bloodiest spectacles we have ever witnessed. Everybody, please, a round of applause for the team that made this possible, the play! Good team name to have. Play by Strogan. What's your team's name? The Plague. Oh, you've all heard about. Ladies and gentlemen, okay, well, we're not going to mess with you. Let's bring on the man of the hour. The one responsible for the death of my favorite son. And here he is. <laughs> a restless, homeless, peaceful. This thing is funny. He's like, my favorite son. It's Fuck you, other sons right here. Demons. You're crushing my smokes. When God lost his son, he knew he'd get him back in a few days. He never knew, not for a single second. But I know I can't get my son back. So what does that mean? When I know more about pain than the most powerful being in the universe. You're a fool. And a shitty father. Burn. Take him to the glory hole. <laughs> their lives every day. If I want something from them, I take it. If they try to fight back, I kill them. They live to please me. Because if they don't, I'll cut off their fucking heads! That would be so painful. Yeah. Well, now you look scared. I thought you'd bust all your fucking teeth out of that evil will turn against evil. It will wipe itself out, leaving nothing but wreckage. 
Chocolate memories. Chocolate memories. Every time you touch it. I find somebody like you who wants to be a hero, who wants to fuck with me and stop my show. I send them straight to hell. What the? Let him go, Drake, or I'll chop your boy to pieces. Happy. I mean it. I'll melt this. What do you think? Great place on Paul. Dad, I'm going to send you up left. Quit fucking around. Sorry, boy, but you just never had that much potential. <laughs> no one has dangers for Drake! You dumb bitch. I just shot my son in the chest. <laughs> Being this fucking evil. Okay, Rick, let's get us some hobo head. Let's go home. Yeah, get this off. Your dirty hands, I know you. But I would love to just shoot about my audience. Fix it more. These fucking animals I entertain. Yeah. Would you go to this? No! Hudson, would you go to this if this happened? For your entertainment needs? Yeah. Like, would you go more once? Even those fucking cretins are disgusted by getting her getting her hand chopped off by this fucking mower. Oh, that would hurt Ooh. so bad to stop. I honestly forgot about this. Our, <laughs> I remember just, just a second ago, like right when he grabbed her, I was like, oh yeah. Get me out of this hole. Because this seems painful too. Uh, pull my hair. My hair. Pull. Pull it. Harder. Harder. Uh, oh, God. <laughs> oh, doesn't that just hurt? Look, he's holding his fucking elbow over there. Oh, oh my God. Dude, that would hurt so great. Oh, Jesus Lift Christ. Lift a manhole cover up the fuck. Oh. With the fucking... With your fucking oh. hair out of your arm. I just think of the, the nerve ending in a bone. Stop talking about it. Oh. And we got us a little bit. She killed Ryder. <laughs> now she must take his place in the plague. She's not going here, buddy. I don't know if I'd want to be a member of the plague. I'd rather be in the plague than fucking, uh... Living fucked in? No, than be, uh... I don't know. Listening for the horn of Abraxas. Or some shit. God. 
And that living situation did look pretty fucked up. Oh yeah, and you're also drinking a uh, super LSD. Mm. Uh, that is true. So the plague seems a little bit more sociable, but not by much. In all fairness. Yeah. I mean, you got some kind of weird Cthulhu creature you gotta tame with. Yeah. Don't see them getting to go out to, like, the Burger King much for a Whopper. This motherfucker. And I'm gonna cut his fucking nuts off and stick it up his fucking mouth. Oh. Oh. Shows over. You know. Except for killing my son, you made my town a lot more interesting. You're so fucking crazy. I would have been your biggest fan, you worthless street rat. I don't believe that. I do too. Drop the fucking gun, you cock sucking garbage man! You want to die from a town? Never give a fuck about you. You will never beat the Drake. This town worships me. Boys, if he shoots, kill the fucker. <laughs> What'd you think, Hudson? Oh, I mean, it was lovely. It does sort of feel like it does just end, but I do love it. I think they kind of like might have been a short screenplay, but eighty minutes. The only the only ending they could have given that would be uh, her going off to join the plague. Oh yeah, like yeah, like you were saying like it kind of would be cool if she would have joined the plague. And there's like kind of a part two, but uh, I enjoyed Even if they it. They didn't do a part two, just that. Just, like, just yeah, spinoff. I feel you. Yeah. Would have been cool. Well. What do you give it, Hudson, on a scale of 1 to 10? Oh, uh, a scale of 1 to 10. <sighs> Don't feel bad Six for y'all. Half. It's 3.15 in the morning. Mm-hmm. What about you, mm-hmm. Whitehead? An 8. It's a, I'm not going to lie. If the visuals weren't so cool, I'd score it lower. But for me, it's a solid... Uh, Seven and a half stars. Corny, but it works in places. Oh, yeah. And, like you were saying, on the nose, but, uh, some good analogies in it, I guess. Yeah. But, uh, if you're not into, like, over-the-top violence. If you don't want to see Santa jacking off... Stealing children. A pedophile Santa. Yeah, pedophile Santa Jack. Now, you might not want to watch this. Or but children bur- burned alive in a school in bus. In a school bus. Yeah. But uh, it is pretty over the top. But still fucking shocking to see yes. in a movie. But, guys, before we get out of here, anything else y'all been watching cool lately? Tell anyone out there to watch, maybe check out shows or movies? Baki, the grappler. Anime you've been watching, right? Yeah. I've just been catching up on Fargo. Yeah, I'll say I think uh, the only thing I've watched recently, uh, 
Punisher season two was way better than I thought it would be. Better than the first one. But, um, yeah, I think that's all we got for this one. So, everyone, go rent this. And I think it might be on some streaming services. It's old enough. Screw that. Buy it. But Yeah, buy it. I, I, I bought this, too. And I yeah. Thought, uh, well, we'll catch everyone in the next one. Peace. Bye. Bye. Get some rest. <laughs>